today we are going to uh, pop into the world famous Schatz Bakery. I got a lot of awesome stuff in here. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. It's been a while since we've been over here. So they've got all kinds of goodies here. Those sandwiches are pretty good. All the donuts, all the fresh bread over here. It's a pretty neat place. It's got all the sweet tooth stuff here. Cookies, everything. They make some pretty good sandwiches back here at lunch. That's their little sandwich area. But uh, yeah, it's just a neat place. I, I always enjoy coming in here and just kind of looking around and seeing all the little goodies that they have. Uh, looks like I that's pretty good. Some grilling oil, huh? Sriracha. So yeah. Pretty neat. <clears throat> it's a little overcast today. Like I said, it, we're supposed to get some rain after lunch, quite a bit actually. And it looks like we're going to get rain the rest of the week. Pretty unusual for this time of year. It's uh, it's only about 52, 53 degrees out right now. So, uh, it's definitely a cold start to summer. So that's uh, some pretty extensive runoff. And it looks like this guy's getting, uh, getting his little foundation going here. I, uh, they're moving along on that project. This is the, uh, huh the uh, low income housing that the town and Pack West are basically partnered on. So they're gonna call it the Sawyer, I guess, huh? Affordable housing. Yeah, people should do some research on that. So this is, uh, looks like this guy's car's been through it. Been through a lot with him. Got the horns going. That's pretty interesting there from Ontario, huh? Yeah, I bet that thing's been through some war zones. This is the Main Street Promenade here. Got the Liberty Bar there. So we're gonna go eat here tonight at uh, Volcania. Look at these little huts. It's pretty cool. So we got a reservation here, so we're gonna get in here and go eat some cool food. All right, so we just had dinner at Volcana, right? Is it Volcana? Volcania. Volcania? Yeah. It was, it was okay. I'm gonna stick with the warming hat. But look at this. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. That's the first time. Well, 
was gonna say that's the first time I've been by here and they, those dogs haven't went crazy. <laughs> Sadie's in her happy place. They just love sniffing around. It's a pretty little fun little trail that we like to take just down uh, at the end of the street. <clears throat> and it opens up right into the Sherwins. And there's actually a trail system that'll get you all the way back up to the top. In the summertime, we, uh, we like to come out here quite a bit. So that house up there, that's usually where I park um, up on top and I, and I look over this way and show you guys the snow pit. So you can see, finally getting uh, snow melted. <clears throat> So this was the uh, an old grave site. It looks like the snow got got the fence this year. <clears throat> but Clarence Gibbs and Joseph Gibbs. I don't know the whole history on these two, but um, I know this area here. I'll have to get you guys a backstory on that. I'll look it up and then uh, maybe I'll put it in the video later, later on in the video. But um, it's kind of a, those have been there for a long time. And uh, I think they had a historical part in this, in this area back here. So this is the, uh, that's the Snow Creek golf course right there. which I, I don't think it's gonna open this year. I think they're done with it for now. Um, there's, they're actually getting ready to start a new phase of development. So they've got quite a few condos still left on the books to do in the future. And so I think they're gonna start, I believe it's the eighth phase of it. But yeah, as you can see, the golf course is really not being maintained because they're not going to have, uh, it's not going to be open this year. So. Lots of water everywhere. <clears throat> so all this runoff just kind of standing and it makes its way all the way down that way. So that's the bluff up there. The Laverne project is up there. Really nice day out. It's uh, pretty cold in the low 50s right now. I mean, we're in the middle of June, guys, almost to the middle of June, and it's it feels like spring is just kind of starting.
Water's running, guys. That's pretty cool. That water is just bubbling out of the ground right here. It's cold. Looks like it might be like hot, but it's it's literally just bubbling out. So there was a slide here over the winter. You can see all the trees knocked down right up in there. That was a big slide that happened on its own pretty much. There were a couple tracks that you would see throughout the winter of some people that would ski down through here. I think they were maybe over here more, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it was like right over here. That's actually a trail you can see coming right down through there. It's a beautiful area here, literally pretty much about a half mile or less from our house. So we can just walk back here and you can hike all the way back up and get all the way to the top actually it gets a little a little tight up in there but you can definitely get all the way up through there so here's an old well there's a couple of them out here actually yeah the, uh, the water district has couple i guess they're backup wells um they're not they don't use them they're not being used but maybe uh in the future they're gonna use them yeah you can definitely see that slide over there knocked down a whole bunch of trees broke them off not sure what those are um anybody know what those are Mention it in the comments, but there's some new life starting to form out here. Finally. It's finally warm enough for a, a few things to sprout up. The dogs are just having a blast. They needed to burn off some energy. Sadie's been getting cabin fever. They're loving the water. That was hard. It was soft? Oh. What are you doing, bud? Where's your sister at? <clears throat> Sadie! Let's go! Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. She's all the way down in the water down there. Okay. She has a little a little pond down there to... Oh, there she is. You're a mess. She's definitely in her element. She loves to be just dirty and muddy. Well, she's gonna get cleaned off. It's pretty clean water. All right, come on. Over here. Here, come here. Well, all right guys, so we made it back just in time from our walk. 
couple really big uh, lightning strikes just just happened real close. There, there's another one. Wow, that was uh, right on top of us. Let's go. So we got reports of a fire down the road. So we're gonna go take a look real quick and see what happened. It's, I wonder if it was like a lightning strike or what, but I'm not really sure. definitely see the smoke so we're gonna find out we're gonna try and find out what happened here see that smoke coming across there and look at this <clears throat> that's just the storm brewing our loader right there real 724 
It's unbelievable. The flames are still going in there. You can see them just dousing from the top, but the flames are still going. They're not stopping. Like they're just pouring water right onto those flames and they're still, still going. Unbelievable.